Hello! Welcome to another Arduino project. Today we are going to learn how to program this 4-in-1 MAC7219 LED matrix display using Arduino Nano and a Bluetooth module. We need to install the necessary libraries for this project. Go to Sketch, Include Library, and go to Manage Libraries. In order for this project to work, we need to install some libraries that are needed for this project. Once the library manager is activated, we need to search for the libraries for the MAC7219 LED matrix display. Type max 72 in the search text box and wait for the libraries to appear we need to install the md max 72 library and also the md underscore parola libraries we need to install these two So what are we going to need in this project? We need the 4-in-1 dot matrix display, a half-size breadboard. As you can see, I have already connected the top and bottom uh, rail, power rail. The Arduino Nano. We will also need some uh, data cable for programming. Pipe pins, male to female dampers to connect the LED dot matrix to the breadboard. Some jumper wires. Another 4 pin male to female jumper wires to connect the Bluetooth and the Bluetooth module. We may also need another set of uh, dot matrix display to make the message longer. First, we need to attach the Arduino Nano to the breadboard. Make sure it fits snugly, like so. Then we pick up some uh, small jumper wires to connect the pie bolts rail to the pie bolts from the Arduino Nano. This will supply the 
top and bottom power rail so that I can connect any components on both power rails then we connect the ground rail to the ground pin from the Arduino Nano as you can see I have connected the top and bottom power rail to each other so that I can connect some components on the upper part of the breadboard now let's connect this jumper wires to the Mach 7219 4-in-1 dot matrix display take note that each wire should be connected for uh, specific color coding of the wire so that we can easily know which wire to connect to which hole in the breadboard okay the green one is connected to the BCC and the blue one is connected to the ground pin the white one is connected to the clock pin the violet one is connected to the D in and the other one is for CS pin so first we connect the positive and negative next is we connect the data in CS and the clock pin to corresponding digital pin of the Arduino make sure that you inserted the proper wire to the corresponding digital pin of the Arduino check everything before going forward to another pin now we connect the clock to the digital pin number 13 Now let's go back to the Arduino ID and click file, go to examples, scroll down to md underscore parola submenu and then go to the right and select the parola scrolling sketch. once it is opened scroll down and locate the line where we can find the clock pin data pin and CS pin assignment this is where we will know how to connect the dot matrix display to the Arduino digital pins and that's where we will insert the jumper wires to its corresponding digital pins of the Arduino
Then let's upload it. It may take a while, so be patient. When the uploading is done, let's see what happened. <laughs> All right. Now we can see that the scrolling message is inverted and it's going the opposite way. Something is wrong. To solve that problem, all we have to do is to make some changes in the configuration files. Let's go to the Arduino folder. In my case, it is located in my documents. Go to Arduino and then open the libraries folder. Then again, open the md underscore max72xx folder. Open the folder src. And then open this file md underscore max72xx.h using any notepad editor. In my case, I use Microsoft WordPad. Then scroll down and locate the line which says use underscore parola underscore hw and change it to one. Scroll down again and change the value for use generic hw to one. And also change the value for use IC station underscore SW to one. And then lastly, use FC16 underscore HW, change it to zero. After that, save the file. Then go back to the Arduino IDE, open your sketch that you're working on. Then upload it. Once uploading is done, like we can see the changes take effect on the LED matrix display. Now it is working properly. It is scrolling from right to left and the LED message is no longer inverted. We can now clearly read the scrolling message and this is my YouTube channel. Now it's time to connect the Bluetooth module. I'm using the HC-05 Bluetooth module and I have connected jumper wires to it already. The violet wire is connected to positive and the black one is to the negative. The white wire is connected to RxD and the gray one is connected to the TxD. Now let's connect it to my Android app. First we have to select the Bluetooth module. Once we are connected we can notice that the Bluetooth LED will be blinking slowly 
indicating that we are connected. Okay, let's try to send away this message. Somehow the delivery have delays. Okay, the message now has been changed to thanks for watching. The Bluetooth is working, the program is working properly.